hi everyone i'm tommy welcome to my channel i'll be showing you how i made this detachable tool bridal basket today um before we continue please subscribe to show your love and support for this um for my channel i really appreciate that if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and um turn on your notification button <laughs> to know when next i upload the video thank you so much sit back and enjoy the tutorial So this is how my tool fabric was packaged. Um, it was already folded into two for his. So what I do first is to spread it out and now it's folded only into two because it was folded into four before. As soon as I open up the first fold, that's all I'm going to be doing. I'm not going to open everything up. I'm just going to open the first fold up and then I'll leave it exactly like that to cut this um, skirt that I'm going to be cutting. Now I fold the length according to my desired skirt length. For the side and front, I want 48 inches. But for the back, because I'm making a train, I'm going to I'm going to make that 60, sorry, 67 inches. I already added the allowance that I need for it. I use the circle skirt calculator um by hand London if you if you've always watched my videos you know i use this calculator a lot because it's so easy and then it gets you straight to the point you don't have to do calculations that gets you confused so what i just did was was to input my waist on the calculator so i did use the full circle skirt calculation so i did um sorry so i did use the full um circle skirt and then I input 30 inches in the box. I'm not really paying attention to the length in the calculator right now because I don't need it. I already know what I need for my length. So I just needed to calculate the, 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 the radius for me. So what I got was four um, and one quarter inches. So what I'm going to be doing is to add, is to double that, like almost double because now I decided to use eight inches. Why I'm using 8 inches as the radius is because I want the skirt to be full. I want it to, I, I want that extra, extra volume, okay? So I have 4 1 quarter inches from the calculator and then I had extra inches like 3 3 quarter more. So now I have 8 inches as my radius. This is just going to give me extra more fabric to play with. And um, give my skirt some more volume so the train length depends on your preference for me I added 90 more, more inches to the original length of my skirt for the train so now I insert my length um, vertically it's going to be for 8 inches and then horizontally will be 67 inches you know along the fold of the tool fabric I use that because that's where you're going to get the longer length and then I just free do my free hand cuff to to meet for, for the two um lengths to meet i don't know if you understand what i'm saying but that's what i'm doing right now then i make seven more of this i made eight pieces of this i used the first one to make the rest of the other pieces that i need so for me i'm using eight pieces but the more volume you want the more pieces you should make um you can easily make like 16 pieces of this and you're gonna get like amazing amazing volume because yeah so as soon as i'm done cutting all the pieces i open up each one of them making sure that the two long sides are in the middle and in the center 
and then the short sides are on both ends i want to make sure that this is exactly like this because the long sides are going to be the train are going to form the train part of the skirt So now I make my waistband, nothing new here, like if you've seen my other tutorials, it's exactly the same thing. Then I use a P, um, I use this piece to test where I want it. Okay. So next I use a piece, to, one piece to test where I want the tool to start from on my dress form. What I do next is to add all my eight pieces of tool. I advise that you join them one by one or like two at a time because then you're going to struggle less because <laughs> I did try to join all of them at once and I did struggle a lot 
to get them all together i won't make that mistake again so as soon as i have them all joined together i test it again on the dress form and then i join them with a band so you just have to make sure you're going back and forth from your dress to the skirt and just making sure that everything is in place
Then I had these hooks on the band, um, to the band and to the dress. Initially, I wanted to use the lace from the main fabric on the band, but then I changed my mind and I decided to use this rhinestone and I loved it. So please subscribe and like this video, press the notification bell so you know when next I upload more video. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Please, 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 please subscribe. I asked, so please do it. Thank you. Bye.